Alhamdulillah these are the days of immense rahmah and mercy and that Allah to dress us and bless us from sifat al-muntaqeem to encompass and to protect us. And the name of Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidina Zul Fadl that every grace and emanation to rejuvenate us as Allah is protecting and burning away all the badness. Then the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad comes to bring Divine grace and lights upon ourselves. And alhamdulillah Allah created insan wa laqad karamna bani adam that we have honoured this creation of Adam and Eve and an honour in which they don't know themselves. And one who knows himself will know his Lord and know what his Lord is bestowing upon him. And shaitan's whole interest is that they never find themselves. For if they should find themselves they become a threat to shaitan and that's why he feeds them the worst of food to destroy them. He gives them the worst of sustenance to destroy them, gives them the worst of to drink to destroy them, gives us the worst of amal to destroy them so that they never find themselves, there'll be oceans and millions of miles away from the reality of themselves and at the same time they will never find the reality of their Lord and what Allah has bestowed, وَلَكَدْ karamna bani adam for Allah the Creator of all creation known and unknown to us to say that I have honoured your creation, it has a mind-boggling depth to it. That no matter what only us speak and what they teach their students to speak of, it never could be understood. When Allah is creating insan with an immense symmetry, who said that your right hand has been coded by one and eighteen. So you see a line one and an upside down V, Allah coded your hand with eighteen. Because Allah describes throughout Qur'an everything is perfectly numbered and numeric understanding is of an angelic reality. The kalam has its reality but the kalam has its ability to have errors. So Allah created programmers to understand that in Divine programming as they're elevating towards Divine the Presence the numeric code is much more powerful much more clear and that coding that Allah has put upon our hand because of the hand and the, the representation of our creation is through the hand that we greet, it's the ambassador of our being to everything that we're going to touch or be introduced to, Allah has coded these hands. Right hand is 18. And in this understanding of coding you go to 18th name of Allah Ismal Husna in which Allah has infinite names but these for this creation through the manifestation of Holy Qur'an upon this ard, upon this earth, He gave us from these 99 of His infinite names its secrets and its realities for our existence upon this planet. And the 18th name of Allah Al-Fata, the one whom opens insan, who opens every reality, opens for every door that's closed, opens the heavens for every, every dress and every beatific reality that He want to bestow upon the servant. And that's why then this teachings its symmetry to where we are now in Ramadan, when we go back into this teaching of Shamsul Arifin 18 and the importance of 18 was in Surat Al-Kahf, was in the second of the month, the second of the lunar month that that two times the reality of nine opened up the reality of the cave. The first lunar month was Muharram and stepping into the reality. Then in 18 Allah opened Surat Al-Kahf. And to be from Ashab al-Kaf and that's why only the Ashab al-Kaf 
can truly understand the lights that Allah is entering and dressing upon the servants in the lights in the month of Muh- in Ramadan. Because the symmetry of the cave to the realities of Ramadan. So that in the cave when they were teaching that this 18 and the ocean and the reality of this power that Allah Sifat al-Fata the opener is opening then the 18th name from Dalai Khirat of Sayyidina Muhammad Nabi al-Rahmah. That's why in their coding and all their haqqaiqs it's not just the philosophy they say one way and it doesn't make sense anything else. From every direction the haqqaiq validates and is a dalil for itself. When somebody says, where is the hadith on this? Like a narrow-minded person. These are knowledges and uloom that Sayyidina Abu Hurairah described that Prophet poured two types of knowledge into me. One knowledge was like a common people knowledge that I give you those hadiths and these are the hadiths that will formulate your usul and, and just a, a drop towards its understandings and haqqaiqs and realities. But this is for the nation in its… in general. And he described that, I have one level of knowledge that Prophet poured into my heart that if I tell the companions they will cut my head. So that's your dalil. That these are not the knowledges that they teach you when you're learning in school Alif Bata and, and all the, the kindergarten. These are the uloom and knowledges, ilm al wa hikmati bi salihin when Allah Throughout Qur'an you should be on the first few juzes of Qur'an in which Allah is continuously making reference to ulul bab. That we gave this knowledge, none know it but ulul bab. Why? Because I am the city of knowledge and Ali Babahu. The Prophet described there's a uloom, there's a knowledge. That not from your dunya, not from your kindergarten, not from the, the common place but within the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad there's a knowledge that is, is a evergreen fountain continuously flowing and gave us that if you want to reach to it that Sayyidina Ali salam is the gate. So when Allah is describing, none know it but ulul al-bab, the people of the door, the people of the door, the people of the door, ulul maqayim al-bilqist, ahli tafakkur, all of these categories Allah is describing from His Rijalullah and His Ibadullah which are even higher than Rijalullah because Allah dressed them with ancient uloom, ancient knowledges. When Allah saying, وَلَكَ كَرَانَ بَنِي Adam, the, the karamat and the ocean of kawthar and, and grace and eminence that dress upon them is nothing that can be understood and there can be no limitation placed upon it because above every knower Allah described there's another knower. So once one thinks he knows and reached a reality Allah is warning that there are many more that you did not even reach to and I dressed from other servants that reality and that uloom. So this way is not the way of the head, this is not the way where you try to verify through the three hadiths that you've memorized and say, where, where, where is this, where is this? They said to teach you and someone like you like that they would have to walk with all the hadith books on their back just to keep proving to people. But this is not a way of proving, that's why Surat Al-Kahf is the entryway. A right hand, right hand is the entryway to this uloom. And then Allah says, you don't have to talk and, and tell them. Allah says, I will tell them the adab, tell the students, read Surat Al-Kahf. And the dialogue between Sayyidina Khidr and Nabi Musa that this uloom and these knowledges no matter how high you think you are 
What Sayyidina Khidr was saying, you're not going to have patience to accompany because what you know of a little bit towards these oceans of reality, you're not going to have patience to go into it. Because from what little you think you know will be a lock and a block upon your head that just doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. I said, no of course it doesn't make sense because you're supposed to make zikr of La ilaha illallah. La to your head, ilaha to your right, illallah into the heart, illallah, illallah until your head is negated. That the energy you're sending into your head is that, Ya Rabbi I know nothing. Take away my, my head and empty it, empty it with your Divine Light that I know nothing. And abdukul ajeez or da'if or miskeen or zalim or jahal and make me to be an empty cup because the qamar and the moon is empty, it's devoid of anything of itself. So it's a continuous process if we don't empty the cup, how Allah will fill the cup. And that's from every state, in every state that they learn they're astonished on how much they don't know. Every uloom shows them the immensity of a knowledge that they don't know as if Allah shows them only the tip of the iceberg but yet an entire city below the iceberg is existing. So it's never that they reach a knowledge and say, oh, wow I understood everything. They understood that absolutely nothing. When Allah shows them a nuqta dot in a reality its vastness is still immensely great that can never be understood. So, walaka karana bani adam then who can understand the people of the right hand? When Allah said, we will raise them on the day of judgment and a light, you'll know these people because a light will emanate from their right hand. Why? Because Al Fatah is dressing them, Nabi Al Rahmah is dressing them, and from their hand is a light coming out from Divinely Presence on the Day of Judgment. When all the lights, all the gifts and all the punishments are being bestowed, Allah describe these people, you'll know them by the hand, the light that emanates from their hand. And that's why when their hand is in a motion up there's a, there's a light and reality that coming and dressing everything from what Allah has dressed upon them. So that's why Allah says, SubhanAllah bi yadihi. Mulk, tabarak alladhi bi yadihi mulk. Tabarak, when Allah is saying, we are not saying, people not saying, Prophet are not saying, Allah is saying, blessed be the hand that holds my dominion. Blessed, tabarak alladhi bi yadihi mulk. Blessed be the hand that holds my dominion. So, means that when Allah is, is giving these lights, and giving this reality, he says, my sifat will dress your hand that what I have encoded upon you, I'm going to open al-fatah so that my dominion and my kingdom begin to dress upon you. And that your yad and that becomes the reality of the bayah that they took at the beginning when Allah yadullah, when Allah accepting their initiation, accepts their bayad dresses them from sincerity, the haqqaiq of the bayat coming. When Allah is going to say, Ya Allah, say that my hand upon your hand, it's not something small. What that means, Ya Allah, just okay, Ya Allah. No, Allah is saying that my, my power, my authority will be dressing your hand. Your hand is, is from a dress from Allah's Divinely Light. He's going to dress with that Sifat al fatah and your hand is going to be a hand in which opens these realities and Sayyidina Muhammad comes in then to define. Because who's the most of Yadullah? Every haqqaiq it takes it to the highest point is Sayyidina Muhammad Will you ever see Allah's hand? No, no, no shariq, no, no, no shab, no, no shaykh, there's nothing even like you can describe. 
But what you can see is the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad which is the full reflection and authority of the hand of Allah And that when that hand comes and take the hand of those servants, takes them on a path to realities. And if they reach to their reality, to their sincerity, to their ahad and their covenant, now what happened? Allah is activating their hand. So the people of the right hand, they're the only people who can understand these haqqaiqs that they're talking about in Ramadan. The people of the right hand are the ones whom Allah describes them on Yawm al Mashar that their hands will be illuminated and light, light flowing from them. What type of astonishing view is that for the people of Yawm al Mashar at Judgment Day when they see Divinely heavenly lights emanating from the servants of Allah So means that fatah, that rahmah is dressing them and blessing them. That then becomes the heat and the energy that is, is giving to them. These are the people of the cave. So all these haqqaiqs they're pulled together. This is a kafi. In healing your right hand is light, is kafi. When Allah want to open the servant and open the realities they have heated hands. Because Allah's light and emanation is dressing upon them when they're making wudu. And they're washing, why Allah making people to, to wash? The system in which Sayyidina Muhammad brought is to activate every reality. As soon as they're washing and they're moving the rahmah and then moving this rahmah, every code is being opened up upon their reality. So it means walaka karana, not something can be understood. So when these servants, ulul bab, ulu maqaim al bilqis, ahl tafakkur, they're, be, they're coded beings. They are more powerful than the jinn, they are more powerful than malaika. That the malaika and the jinn all are under their service. When Allah said, Wa laka karana bani Adam, did not say karana for malaika, there are servants of Allah that are programmed at a degree in which Allah gave to them. They don't do guna, they don't do bad, they serve Allah. So it means this honour in which Allah giving this creation is something that cannot be understood, cannot be limited in its understanding. So, this are the people of the cave. This Fatah in an opening is always upon their hand. Everything that they put their hand onto, Sifat al Fatah begin to open it. Whatever is blocked and locked with Allah's will and Divinely Qudra begin to open. That's why Allah said, Tabarakalladi bi yadihi more. When their hand gets involved in your life, the tabarak and the blessing is coming. This is like a science class that they're giving you, not they don't just say something. They're giving you like a chemical formula of how it's happening, right? They're not saying make wudu because it's good for you. They're giving you the formula. So when their hand gets involved in a situation, Allah says, it's a tabarak, the Holy Qur'an is dressing them. Then only are coming now to describe to you how Allah is dressing them. Allah has activated His sifat al-fatah, their hands are openers. What is closed when their hand gets involved opens, not by them, nothing. They became abdikal ajeez or da'if or miskeen or zalim or jahal, they vanished and Allah appears through them. They vanish and Sayyidina Muhammad appears through them. They vanish and awliyaullah appear through them. As much as you make in your life to be nothing, get yourself out of the way and Allah will take over the servant. When Allah is giving His, His, His Allah, Ya Allah my, my hand is on you, not your hand is involved, His hand is involved, Allah giving His Divine name that my hand Ya Allah is involved. So Al-Fatah comes. And Rasulul Rahmah, 
because it's a lock and a key. When they studied and they learned the, the relationship, learned the thing, could you be given something by Allah that Prophet is not involved in it? Absolutely not. We are the people of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah and tamam al Qur'an, all the Qur'an is a proof of it, Ati Allah wa Ati Rasul. So when Allah want to open Al-Fatah the key is Rasulul Rahmah and that's why his name also is Nabi Miftah Rahmah, the, the key of Rahmah. So it means that that right hand when Allah's fatah is on it, Sayyidina Muhammad is the guardian of that hand that it only opens for rahmah. They don't open haram, they don't hurt with their hand. The one who's a Muslim it means that his people are safe with his tongue and with his hand. You see now what people call themselves and they attack everybody with their mouth and they attack people with their hands. That this sifat its guardian is Rasulul Rahmah so that whatever Allah is opening through their hand Prophet is his guardian and caretaker. That you open what is from Allah's Rahmah, what is from Allah's Halal, what is from Allah's Kingdom. So it means that tabarak ladhi bi yadihi mulk this immense blessing is dressing upon that hand. And that's why they have to be from Ashab al-Kaf, they have to teach the people, come into this cave, run from this satanic kingdom, come to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and don't ever leave that cave. Don't go out of the cave and say, now I'm going to go back into that dunya. That dunya everything outside of that cave is the kingdom of shaitan. There are no two caves. And that's why Allah described, I created no man with two hearts. There is not another, there is only but one cave that Allah is Ahad and Sayyidina Muhammad is Wahid. There is the uniqueness of Sayyidina Muhammad that there is nothing like Prophet And the Ahad is the uniqueness of Allah Wahid. Is like Ahad with a wow because he's the love of Ahad. And Allah made the unique station and reality of La ilaha illallah ahadiyya. Muhammadun Rasulullah wahidiyya. The wahidness and the oneness and uniqueness is only for Sayyidina Muhammad and a reflection that becomes Al Fatah and Rasulul Rahmah, Fatai Rahmah. When they enter into the cave they're coming, 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 coming all the way to Ramadan which is the perfect symmetry. So what we have in Ramadan is 81, your left hand is stamped 81, 8, 1. 8 and 1, 81 is what? Al-Muntaqeem. The 81st name of Allah Al-Muntaqeem. So by Ramadan their left hand which is of a fiery heated nature, same for healing. A shafi is a burning, the left hand is a heated fiery element. So when Muntaqeem is dressing their hand because these sincere servants Allah give a fire in their left hand. That this sifat al-Muntaqeem is dressing them and pushing away all the devils. Devils are scared of the light that emanate from them. So that this Muntaqeem is dressing them, this is the symmetry of the, of the right hand and left hand. That when this muntaqeem is coming it burns away everything that Allah is displeased with. So when their left hand is moving it's burning away everything that Allah is displeased with. And again the rahmah of Sayyidina Muhammad is right there to guardian that reality. Sayyidina Dhul Fadl. That Allah's grace, Sayyidina's immense rahmah that with this muntaqeem and fire that coming Prophet is again safeguarding that 
that your fire is not to harm creation but your fire comes and harms all shayateen and it frees Allah's creation and free the souls from whatever hardship shaitan has put upon them. What's a fire to shaitan is a Divinely grace for the creation of Allah So when they describe these, these fires that are coming from them, these are fires that burn shayateen and everything that bad and forbidden. But at the same time it put the believer into a state of ecstasy. When they release these fires in the zikr, when they release the fire within the homes of people who are watching the zikr, these fires are a big problem for shaitan. So no doubt I heard somebody got free Qur'ans from a website and then that Qur'an people actually called them and said, oh can we do da'wah to you? And they said, oh, I'm busy watching zikr and they said, oh no I don't think you should watch zikr. What kind of shaitan is that? That they're using the Qur'an and propagating and giving Qur'an as a mean to do da'wah for shaitan? So you shouldn't, you shouldn't mention Allah so why did you give the kitab of Allah This has but shaitan and they have every trickery and, and every way to try to reach people. That fire burns shayateen and put the believers in a state of ecstasy because Dhul Fadl is safeguarding that energy that it burned just the right thing and Allah's Divinely grace and emanation through the character, the reality and the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad again dispersing. From Rahmah to Dhul Fadl the Sayyidina Muhammad is always is the, is the salamun, is the peace and the coolness of Divinely fire. قُلْ يَا نَهْرُ كُنِ بَعْدًا وَالسَّلَامًا قُلْ يَا نَهْرُ كُنِ بَعْدًا وَالسَّلَامًا We talked before in other months Allah's izzah and might is fire, fire that nothing can contain it, an immense power. For us to understand is you imagine going into a power plant, a huge power plant and say, I'm going to go right now into the center and hold the wires. Nobody's capable of something like that, Sayyidina Muhammad is. He takes the immensity of Allah's qudra and this is the reason of his creation. So, Qul ya nahru, say to the fire, what? Kuni bardan wa salaman, be cool and peaceful. So, the reality of Prophet is that reality that makes Allah's sifat to be cool and peaceful. So that it can be sent upon creation because if Allah was to send directly then gosh yeah, everything comes to, to dust. So if I reveal my Qur'an, if I reveal my holy speech to the mountain, your highest mountain it would be dust. But we reveal it to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and stands firm. This is the reality in which Allah dressed and blessed the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad If we don't understand these in the holy month of Ramadan is this is where months of Qur'an when Allah is, is giving that, this Qur'an is my izzah and might, is my Divinely speech that is not even created. Allah can't be created, nothing from Allah is created. And that which is not created is flowing through the soul of His creation. And manzar Qur'an is the eternal house in which Allah's speech is emanating throughout the universes at all time. So the immensity, immensity of, of these realities that can't be understood. So when Allah want to ignite that servant they have to be from Ashab al-Kaf that Allah opened al-Fatah, opened Rasul al-Rahmah. And that's why the, the, the criteria for this from Ashab al-Kaf was what? Nabi Musa wanted to meet one of them, he said, yeah they attained the Rahmah and then we taught them in Maladuni. They attained the Rahmah because these are from the people of the cave that they attained the reality of Prophet Rasulul Rahmah is dressing them 
So they have that rahmah, that mercy, that good character. They don't go to school first and then hope to find rahmah because then they become hard and critical of everyone. These servants whom Nabi Musa was searching for, Allah said, no they attained the rahmah. Why? Because they're from the cave we just gave the formula for that. As a result Allah by Ramadan is then opening up for them al-muntaqeem. So that they are dressed with sifat al-muntaqeem always on their hand. The devils are always being burned by their presence, by their hand, by every movement and gesture that they're doing. And as a result Sayyidina Zulfadl every grace and emanation is flowing from that reality. We pray that Allah address us and bless us with more and more understanding of walakal karam na bani adam. What is this honor and grace that Allah has put upon this creation and how to reach towards our majestic reality, our majestic purpose upon this earth. Imagine with all that they teach of the immensity of this creation and how insan is, is acting and, and keeping themselves. How it's a disgrace to the heaven, the kingdom when the angels are looking and astonished, look what Allah gave to you people, why are you doing these things? And then they come and say well, they don't know because they didn't reach to it, they don't have any understanding what Allah has dressed upon them, what Allah gave them of blessings and potential. But turuqs know and their job is to take people to that reality inshaAllah. We pray that Allah grant more and more of its understanding. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.